Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you are having a good morning. Uh, it's a nice, pleasant day today so far. I think we're going to have a nice weekend. I'm going to get my day started with a cup of coffee. Hope you have something to get your day started. Ah, that's good. Uh, well, I uh, wanted to talk a little bit. Uh, yesterday, Queen Elizabeth passed away. I, when I grew up, my parents were aware of monarchies, but they never said anything good or bad. It was more like they were there. Uh, kind of like a, a living part of history. And, you know, I understand, you know, can understand that because both of them, their, uh, their families, uh, came here from Ireland, which, you know, didn't have a great relationship with, uh, England. Um, so there were kings of, Ireland, but I mean, you know, it never stuck, right? It wasn't like part of the Irish tradition. And then you get to the U.S. and there's not really much here for kings and queens. So you have... Uh, a kind of a strange relationship between the two, between us and that part of the past. The United States, you know, if anything, kind of was a little anti-royalty because of the things that happened in the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. But there are many people that really appreciate the monarchy. Now, that being said, let's talk a little bit. Let's just assume people appreciate the monarchy. Because guess what? My wife does. She's, she's not a, a fangirl of the monarchy or anything like that. Oh, it's a prince or something like that. But she respects what they have to do as uh, the focal of uh, their people. And she understands what they've done as far as encouraging uh, and motivating the people to do challenging things throughout history. She was the longest reigning monarch ever, as far as we know. Uh, 70 years. That is a awful long time my wife is a big fan of hers she said you know she was became the monarch she's a little fairly young it wasn't like a whoa careful my careful there Luna you almost knocked the camera over but she was uh she was pretty young when she 
that in there. You know, I Google up if you want to know exactly what dates and stuff. Um, but my wife has spoken highly of what she's done, she did in the uh, during the war, and what she did to support her her. Uh, people she truly loved, which was uh, her English people. And man, what a, what a time to, to be the focal of so many things. The, uh, the world has changed quite a bit in 70 years. The English people could say during that 70 years, they had one thing that kind of towed the line a little bit. I'm sure she wasn't perfect. There are rumors of uh, her perceptions and what she wanted her kids to do that doesn't mesh with what we would say is uh, normal, but I'm going to say it was handled uh, in a way that uh, I'm sure she wanted just to make sure everything was good. Uh, and I know she loved her family very much. So, I wish all of her family well. That's the thing that monarchies did. They make you realize there are some things that in life that no matter how little you have and how much you have, we all share some common bonds. Common bonds of family, love, regrets, and in this case, death. And the mourning process. There are, uh, definitely, I guess, pluses to realizing that. Oh, good catch, little girl. Well, I know she's a She's done a lot of good things for people. There may be some that say she didn't do as much as she could have. And there's probably some that say she did things wrong. But my wife, who's a really smart lady, she's kind and she's smart. She was very impressed with what she did. And I take that as a huge vote that Queen Elizabeth, you are wonderful. So I'm going to raise my glass, and drink a toast. Okay. All right, let's try this again. I'm raising my glass, drink a toast to the queen. May God have mercy on her and may she enjoy the life in heaven that she deserves. And to Charles, who comes after her here, 
I guess he's now King Charles, but he hasn't been ordained. I guess I don't know what he is right now. But to him, I wish him well. I hope he is a good example of the monarchy that uh, in England, and I hope he reigns well. To everybody out there, hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoy the morning. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm Luna's being a little busy this morning. So I'm going to close off and take care of my little girl, throw her a ball, and see if I can get a little more energy out of her as we I go through my day. Oh, wow. I'm already through a half cup coffee, and I need more. <laughs>